and we see ourselves differently. We see ourselves differently, therefore we respond differently, therefore we speak differently, therefore we react differently. I'm here to stir up the gifts inside of you. I'm here to speak the Word of God to you that you can fine-tune your lifestyle and become more of what Jesus wants you to be. Get in the Word before you do anything if you want to be Christ's ambassador. But just so you know that if you don't, Take your place and fulfill the purpose. God is going to remove you and raise up somebody else to do his bidding. Why? Because God's will will always reign supreme. That's How many awesome. want to get married? I mean, feel, yeah, it's, yeah. But you got contentment That's and awesome. marriage, right? So you got to push back if you're considering it negativity negative vibes you're going to have to push back with the positive when it's to god's time it will happen if it's not i'm content right now it's about me and god it's so we have to check our hearts on a daily basis we have to make sure am i still in love with him you should you should still look at your husband and fancy him and in the same way that the bible says restore to me the joy of my restore to us god the joy of being married please don't let the mundane things take you away from the most important thing see him as a king again i am crazy enough to believe those words when it says that he's going to fulfill his purpose for me so when we write our petitions we are calling those things that are not as though they were we are approaching it in faith and not in doubt believing that god is going to do it Hi, my name is Selena. I came here on Thursday for the conference, the audience with the King. When I arrived and I took my seat and my interpreter was interpreting for me, I was listening to the word and I felt so emotional and I started to cry because I know that the word touched my life. Um, it's really been liberating and actually been um, comforting to know that there are great women of God that actually go through the same experiences that we do. Personally, uh, I'm not from this church, but my friends invite me over, and I just I was I've been really, really blessed and really touched. I really like the fact that everybody was open. I feel like sometimes we come to church and we forget that we are all broken. We are all broken and we have we have problems and we have issues because we all look nice and everything but today was just we just come together and everyone was really open to each other um the women of excellence 2018 was such an amazing experience um i've been to every single conference this church has held but it just keeps getting better and better and better and this year we learned about having an audience with the king uh, my light bulb moment actually was actually um having that awful mentality whereby like sometimes we see that as a negative thing but in Esther's case yes she was an orphan she had that awful mentality but it was actually what prepared her for her future so sometimes we may think we have a setback in our lives like maybe being in the orphan's position because like, I'm an orphan I haven't got parents and my dad died when I was very young but I believe that what I went through then the hardship and all the things I went through emotionally has made me to become a stronger person who I am today so sometimes when you go through a process and have that awful mentality, don't despise it. You understand? Ask God, what are you teaching me? What is? What are you preparing me for? And this has been an absolutely incredible conference. For me, I've been touched by sitting in on the evening sessions, which really has helped transform my life. Past Erica preached an amazing word about the awful mentality, and it really is about recognizing who we are in Christ Jesus. And for me, being able to serve the women that serve us throughout the entire has been a great privilege. So I encourage every man to not only be a part of the evening sessions, but also help support and give back to the women. So God bless. I look forward to seeing you all next year. Oh.